How do I replace the syringe seal on the Luminix 200 instrument? Let's take a look at the procedure for removing and replacing the syringe seal. This routine is part of the semi annual maintenance schedule or is to be used if the seal is not performing properly. Why should I replace the syringe seal? Replacing the seal will prevent leaks or pressure loss in the fluidic system. This is a preventative maintenance procedure to avoid any downtime on the Luminex 200 instrument. In normal use, the seal will degrade slowly. If the seal does fail before the scheduled replacement, the two most obvious signs will be air bubbles in the syringe cylinder and liquid leaking from the syringe assembly. The Luminex 200 cannot run properly if the seal is broken. Syringe seals are available for purchase from Luminex. Regular replacement of the seal should help avoid any issues with the seal and keep the Luminex 200 working properly. Here's how to replace the syringe seal. Turn off the Luminex 200 instrument and unplug the power cord. Warning! The syringe arm does not deactivate while the seal is being changed. Unplugging is necessary to avoid injury. Open the front center door of the analyzer. Locate the syringe assembly. Look for the glass cylinder with a metal rod plunger inside. At the base of the syringe, loosen the thumb screw by turning it counterclockwise six quarter turns. Plug in the power cord. Turn on the analyzer and immediately watch the syringe pump. Within a few seconds, the syringe arm will go down, then start going up again. As soon as it begins traveling upward, turn off the analyzer. If the base of the plunger did not come out of the arm when it cycled, loosen the thumb screw a little more and very lightly attempt to lift the plunger away from the base. Unscrew the syringe from the top of its housing. This will free the syringe from the instrument. Remove the plunger from the inside of the syringe. The seal is located on the end of the plunger. Remove the cap from the end of the plunger. Note, tools may be required to remove the seal if it cannot be done by hand. Replace the O-ring on the tip of the plunger rod. Then, replace the syringe seal over the O-ring. Ensure the seal is fully seated and the top is level. Push the plunger back into the syringe. Screw the syringe into the top of its housing. Grab the base of the syringe plunger and gently pull on it until it is fully seated into the opening of the arm. Tighten the thumb screw on the syringe arm. The Luminex 200 analyzer can now be powered back on. The syringe will return to its home position before the analyzer begins its normal startup process. Before using the instrument, the syringe seal needs to be checked for leaks. Using Exponent software, run the prime command twice. This will remove any air bubbles in the fluidix lines. Navigate to the Maintenance page, Commands and Routines tab. From the Commands list, click on Prime twice to add it to the command sequence. While the routine is running, watch the syringe for any leaks. Close the door on the Luminex 200. And finally, remember. To change the syringe seal as part of your semi-annual maintenance, or when there is a leak. A properly working syringe pump keeps the Luminex 200 working for all commands and routines.